There we go, make that jump. And it looks like I woke up a few people, so we're gonna jump back over. And we got a few ferals here. Uh, we got the businessman decides to kneel down and beat that thing under there. Hey, what's up guys? It's Melee Damage 15 here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. We are here on day 23 in 7 Days to Die. If you missed my last video, go ahead and click on the link in the top right. Watch that and then come back to this one. Alright guys, so as I'm sure you saw on my last post, this video is going to be pre-recorded or I guess re-recorded because I did lose the footage. So I'm just going to kind of talk over this. I hope this works out for you guys. Really, really sorry. But let's get into the video. So as you can see here, um, we just picked up everything from overnight. So I am currently just grabbing everything that I'm going to be taking with me. We had some books here that we found. And I'm just going to read those. So let's see, we got Wooden Bow Quality 2 there. We got shotguns, double barrel, double barrel shotgun quality too, I guess I should say. And that's all of those books there. Go ahead and scrap that. And then we got another book here, scrapping for fun there. And that's all of the books that we were able to get on our way to the base overnight. Alright guys, so this is everything that we were able to grab. And this is everything that we're going to take with us back to our base. All right, and we are back at the base now. We're going to go ahead and get into the base, and then we're going to drop everything off that we have. All right, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find both of these treasures. So we have two treasures. We're going to read the second map here. As you can see, we got one in the southwest and the southeast corners. So we're going to go for the southeast one first. Let's go ahead and start digging. Alright. Nothing much in here. Got a couple diamonds. That was pretty much it. No dukes once again. Alright. We're at the southwest one now. So we're going to dig this one up. And once again, nothing really good. We got some silver nuggets. That was about it. It's more ammo. Then we took on a tier 3 job here in Johnny Town. So we're going to go ahead and get up into this area. Try to be as sneak sneakily as we can. Taking some cloth. Doesn't seem to be anybody in this POI. We're just going to do some looting here. And yeah, we'll continue to push forward. Looks like into this next building here. Okay, some iron there. Not too bad. Doesn't seem to be anything else in this room, so we'll go ahead and jump to the next room. Still no zombies, which is really weird, honestly. Okay, we do got someone over here, and we startled them, so we're not getting any of that sneak damage. That's okay. <laughs> Just jumped off the edge. Grab this plug here for some ammo. What is up, my friend? And he falls back over the banister. We're going to check out this area. And there's not going to be a zombie in it. Okay. And we'll take out this guy here. Boom. Just like that. And we got a friend there. Take her out. And we'll grab some of these office chairs. More of those food books. We definitely need more of those. 
I think I explained this before, but the reason that I am taking the chairs and scrapping them now is just to get the leather because I feel like I need more leather than mechanical parts at this point. Okay, nothing else in this room. Anybody in here? Nope. At this point, I was kind of confused on where I was supposed to go, I remember. I could not find. I was like, where do I go? Oh, look, there's another door here. <laughs> okay, look at that. The armored double pocket mod schematic. Very, very nice one to find. Nobody in that one. Do you hear someone around the corner there? It looks like it's a cop. Somehow swinging my pickaxe there. Got a shot on him. He's already beaten his heart there. And we take him out before he explodes. Not too bad. Honestly love this spear. Tier 1. I definitely need to be build the tier 6 soon. That is something that I need to work on. All right, nobody around the corners. We can go ahead and raid this little area, this kitchen. Not really too much, but we did get another home cooking weekly. Always down to get more of those. We're up to 67 of those, which really isn't bad, honestly. Hopefully we can max those out soon. Looks like we're going to be going downstairs, but there is someone in there. We're going to go ahead and take them out real quick. Got a bathroom here. Uh, with nothing much in it. I guess we're pushing down. Let's go. Keep that door closed. Check over here if there's any enemies. Uh, which it looks like there's just one. Not too bad. And we can go ahead and loot some of these areas here. We got a plug right here as well. Uh, for a purse. Alright, nice. We got a pistol there. It is a tier 3 pistol, which is actually a better pistol than the one that we had. That's definitely something that we'll have to switch to later on. I think right now I didn't switch to it. Uh, we actually did get a tier 3 pistol earlier. But we didn't switch to it right now only because the uh, durability of it is really bad. So I knew that it would... I knew that it would... I knew that it would degrade on us very quickly. Alright, some acid, not too bad. I need to collect more of that. Definitely want to be able to get our chem station soon. Alright, anybody else? We got another box here. For some clay and some dye. Another home cooking weekly. That one was a double one there. We're up to 69 now. Alright, a couple zombs. Nothing to write home about. Take care of Skinny Tom there. And your girlfriend in the back there. Getting closer to the end of the POI, if I remember correctly. Uh, actually, we got we got a we got a decent amount left. Not like too much crazy, but we're we're get we're getting there. No plug there. And again, guys, really really sorry <laughs> that I lost the footage for my voice recording. I hope you guys still enjoy this. This is definitely going to be a shorter video. It's not going to be that long, just because I want I don't want to re-record the entire thing. Just want to kind of go over the main parts so you guys see what mainly happened in the video. If we we're able to get anything and so that's why we're going over over this so you got a feral take care of you Arlene and we got Arlene's twin sister Arlene 
All right, they're both taken care of. We got one more zombie here in the corner, it looks like. And honestly, this POI, I was really, really, really impressed with the way that this POI looked. When I first came to it, I was just like, wow, this POI is something I've never seen before. And I really, really liked the way that it was set up. Here, I was a little confused on where the zombie was at because I was like, wait, it showed that it was around the corner and it's not there. Then I get that one over there in the corner. He's also feral. And we miss, but then we get him there. Alright, we got his twin brother there as well. Everybody's coming in twins today. Twin ferals. Give me back my arrow there. A few places here that we can go ahead and loot. Not too much in this area from what it seems like. But then we can go ahead and push on. Got a bookshelf here at least. Tactical Warfare, which we are continuing to need as well as Furious Fists. We're up to Tactical Assault Rifle Quality 1. We finally got the Assault Rifle. So that is something that we'll have to make at some point. Definitely can't wait until we get to the M60. But the Tactical Assault Rifle is going to be a good upgrade for us. Just a bunch of trash in this area. Nothing too crazy. We did get a potato seed there, which is going to be really, really helpful for us. We still need to start our farm in this new area. I'm super excited just to make this base home again, like our old base was. Get our farm going. Make sure that all of our, our workstations are going and we're pumping out resources, just everything that we need. And then eventually when we start working on our horde base as well that's something that i'm excited to to get working on and to have this area look really really well got a coyote from what it sounds like we're dropping down here right here i thought this is where i was at the beginning and so i didn't go that way which was a good a good thing anyways, but we came into here and I quickly realized, oh wait, no, I haven't been here yet. I thought it just looped around for a second. It was kind of weird. So that's why I kind of backtrack here and I'm like, oh, I think I've been here before. But we're going to go this way. Got these zombies being super silent. I didn't even hear them. Honestly, got kind of jump scared there. And they weren't even running zombies. I am really full here, so we're going to have to scrap things to make sure that I can take what I want. Yeah, we want to be able to get all of these resources. Like I've said before several times, I am a hoarder, guys. I collect everything. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Everything in this game has a use. So we want to hold on to everything, <laughs> and that's why I am the way I am. And honestly, it works out because there's several times in the game where I'm just like, okay, we need to build this. Do I have enough resources? Yes, I do. Or at least I'm close to it. So I find that a lot better than just like not keeping certain things and then being like, hey, now I need it. For example, rotten flesh. Not everybody takes rotten flesh. I do. And I have plenty of rotten flesh to build more and more of the, uh, what are they called? Or the farm plots. So the farm plots were able to make a bunch of them. It's really nice. To be able to have that much so like i said it's good to keep the the things that are really really important um and even smaller things that might not seem super important it's good to keep them because then you can just throw them in the bike all right got some zombies here we do got a feral skater boy Almost got a swipe on us, but we took him out there. The other zombies seem to be stuck, so let's go ahead and relieve them of their lives. Take Mo out there. We got one more zombie to take care of. And you're dead. Now we're getting pretty close to the end loot here, I believe. 
know I said that before, but <laughs> now we actually are. I remember this portion here. We're going to climb up here. After we do some inventory management. All right, up and around it looks like. Into this portion here. Where there's going to be quite a decent bit of zombies. Nothing like insane, but got a decent amount of zombies. We start seeing some red dots pop up. You can see a guy peeking out through here. I missed the shots. Wake him up. It's only one for now, thankfully, but he is feral. And it's a biker. But with the spear, we just get that knockdown, dude. I love the spear so much, man. The spear has saved my butt so, so many times. All right, nobody else in this direct area. Search some lockers here. Go ahead and take that chair and then we'll scrap it here. It gives you six leather per scrap, like per scrap. Obviously when you wrench it down, it's like, I think three or four mechanical pieces. But like I said, I'm, I'm hurting for leather more than I am mechanical parts. So we're gonna do that for the next little bit. Once we start running low on mechanical parts, then we might start wrenching them down again. Just some murky water in the toilets, nothing too crazy. And then we're going to be heading up. I think first we'll stop in this bathroom here. Just some toilets again. Paper I'm going to skip on for now. And some murky water. The paper I do end up skipping on most of the time only because I'm not really rocking shotguns right now, so I don't, I don't really have that much of a use for paper right now to make shotgun shells. Plus, I have like three, two or three stacks of shotgun shells. If I really needed to, I'm okay for right now. Doesn't look like we have anybody on this side. We have a working vendo right there. Looks like everybody's going to be on the other side, which is where the main stash is from the looks of it. So we'll grab everything here that we can and we'll get over to those zombies who are definitely waiting for us. I can hear tons of zombies upstairs because we're obviously underground. So I can hear tons of zombies. They're trying to get to me right now. Looks like we have to make a little leap of faith here. There we go. Make that jump. And it looks like I woke up a few people, so we're going to jump back over. And we got a few ferals here. Uh, we got the businessman decides to kneel down and beat that thing under there. And we got <laughs> this uh, hazmat zombie doing the same thing. I don't know why he's kneeling down and just beating on the pole there. And there we go. That's the job. Not too terrible. Three ferals at the end of it to complete it. Well, at least we didn't get any rads, right? For now. Definitely not... Not trying to, I guess, feel too safe because we are in the desert now. So I'm expecting us to get stronger zombies. We'll probably see rads more often as we're doing these jobs. Plus, we're, getting, we're nearing the end of the tier 3 jobs, I know. We're getting closer to uh, getting to those tier 4s, and tier 4s, I have a feeling we're definitely going to be seeing a lot more radiated. Go ahead and grab this stone here. With power attacks, we can just knock it down. Look at that. Two hits and you get 140 stone. Like, that's so nice. Getting resources is a lot better, a lot easier once you, once you get later into the game. Right, so we don't have much inventory space for the main loot, so we're going to go ahead and go up. And kill these zombies that have been trying to break in. And then try to get to our mini bike so we can drop off some loot. We'll just kill these zombies through the door. Ah, uh, look at that. Big Mama dropped us a blue bag. Thank you. I will definitely take that. It is nighttime, by the way, as well. So zombies are running. We definitely have to be careful. Go ahead and drop as much as we can in here. Gives us a few spaces, like six or seven spaces. Honestly, not bad. 
We'll loot this bag here. Got a few things. Let's go ahead and pop on the nerd outfit. Read two scrapping for funds. We got ratchet quality three now. I think I have to make the ratchet at some point too. We got pistol quality one. Go ahead and drink these two. Yeah, we definitely need to, to make a ratchet coming up soon. Or I don't know. Maybe we'll wait until we get the impact driver. We'll just have to wait and see. Doing a little bit more inventory management here. Seeing what else we can get rid of. What we want to keep. We decided to leave it there with what, about nine spaces I think left. Realistically, I probably should just stop looting and go grab the main loot here. But like I said, I'm a hoarder. Cannot resist taking all the loot that I can. And look at that. More acid. It paid off. Definitely need, like I said, all the acid that we can get. All right. Did you look at that? We got a wolfie. Missed the first shot. Didn't aggro. Second shot missed. Didn't aggro. Third shot missed. Still no aggro. <laughs> I'm a terrible shot when it comes to the bow. Alright, fourth time is the charm, guys. <laughs> Went ahead and took him out. Here, I thought that I heard a zombie, and I thought the zombie was going to go over and eat it. I'm like kind of like looking around. Don't hear anybody. But I'm like, you know what? That's just going to take up more space. So we're just going to go ahead and get back in. Take that, and then let's go ahead and get back down and grab this main stash. Got three boxes here, so this first one, Shamway Foods. Okay, for some beef raft rations, we got some seed crafting, which we've already finished. Got a crack book here. And a poppin' pills. Go ahead and pop on the nerd outfits. Okay, bow, we got armored up, which we've finished already, and art of mining, which we're already done with as well. Alright, we got a medical one. We're getting uh, not super close. We're a little over halfway, actually, for medicals. I thought we were a little bit closer. That's alright. Alright, only took us two lockpicks. Not too bad. Go ahead and read that scrapping book there. Got a few more items that I want to take here. Commando gloves. Which we decided to scrap just to get the armor part because I'm not going to end up using them. They're only a tier 2. Drop the paper here. Take the first aid kit. Pop you on. Anything else I can read. Decide to drop the paint. And there we go. Alright guys, we just got home. Let's go ahead and put all of our loot away. Close the door for the night. Definitely, we gotta make two trips for sure. We got some items on the bike as well. We'll just go ahead and put everything away that we can. We're definitely gonna have to make some more storage boxes as well. Because we're getting really full already with our just four storage boxes that we have right now. Take out the rest of the stuff from the mini bike. There we go. And we are in for the night. We'll close the door and close the hatch. Dump off all this loot here. Everything else we'll just throw in this last one. I definitely need to do a little bit of sorting throughout the night. So that's going to be something that I'm going to be working on overnight. Um, what else? Yeah, making more storage. We'll probably just fill up this section right here with storage boxes. And then just name everything, sort everything that we can. We're up to 1700 iron in the forge, which is really good so far. So we'll definitely have to put some more iron in there to continue to build that up for when we eventually get steel or have the ability to make steel once we get the crucible. So definitely want to continue to push that a little bit higher as well. Go ahead and close these doors here because we are going to be in for the night. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it that I'm going to be doing here, guys, is just sorting. 
I do have a little bit of money here. Um, I'm going to want to make a trader chest as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please leave me a like. And then, guys, I didn't say the question of the episode earlier, but let me know. What are your favorite kinds of rides in theme parks? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Then if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing because it really does help me out. Appreciate each and every one of you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.